when you say that the import duty is a major composition of the pakistan tax collection this statement need to be slightly modified what we say and we uh, we have to understand that not import duty but import duty plus state sale tax and import state and withholding tax as the import state these three heads in combination they actually contribute over 50% of the total tax collection of pakistan so uh, this is uh, when when you contract the import side of of the of the uh, economy then the tax collection automatically goes down we are not feeling that uh, pinch for the reason that the contraction in the import if any is being is being uh, uh, relaxed or the compensated by the uh, devaluation of rupee so the net amount received in pakistan is not uh, reduced but as you rightly said that if there is a contraction of the of the uh, uh, of the imports then the revenue collection will go down and we have to look for the measures to compensate that reduction with that reduction or that shortfall from other sources that's a very important consideration for pakistan tax administration and it is very unfortunate that we are we are in a double trap in a sense that as a country we want to reduce imports but on the tax side it is better for the tax administrator to have more imports to have more taxes so this is a very uh, tragic dilemma for pakistan tax agent system the uh, if you people are aware, aware that fbi has yesterday issued uh, a, a proposal for the real time access of the information from 145 entities which are dealing in the economic transaction of the people and the database uh, of that and that those entities and those economic transactions will be ultimately with the fbr if we actually want to increase the tax base or number or or to, or to bring the taxation system under the under any procedure then the only way is to improve documentation and to have access of the information to the tax authorities and the people should have a fear that they are they, they should have a fear of the system not of a person that they should have, they should have a fear of the system that their transactions are being looked after and they are being they are being recorded somewhere so that is how the system will work and that is the and it is the right step in the right direction that the fbr should now go for access of the information and database of economic transaction which they have done last uh, yesterday uh, and it's a good move you know obviously uh, when there is inflation the prices are high and and, and obviously those, those inflationary trends actually lead to more taxes so it's a economically not a good sign but obviously the inflation uh, has never no, no, never had a good uh, uh, never had a bad bad impact on the taxation side as as, as the economy is concerned you know the the tragedy of pakistan has been a uh, the has been the follow, following of the traditional economic theories and applying that those theories without any credible evidence to a generalized system by an assumption that the that the uh, that the money supply uh, or the inflation is directly related to the uh uh discount rate which the bank prescribes uh under the uh, system in pakistan i am one of the one of the educate and i very firmly believe that the whole paradigm is wrong we in pakistan the discount rate does not have any i would say any the very big statement any impact on the uh prices of the inflation or price increase in the prices or inflation of the basic commodities for the reason that from the grower till the retailer none of the person is in the system and they have no relationship with the borrowing from any bank so if you reduce the rate that doesn't mean the volume of transaction goes down or something or it so it's a very very wrong perception that in pakistan the the discount rate has any relationship with the uh, inflation and unfortunately by having this higher discount rate 
and using this traditional system and using this bookish system of the money supply in the state banks pool uh, rooms of the ac room in the state bank of pakistan we are actually spoiling pakistan in that sense in my view the discount rate in pakistan should not be more than 15% in any way and there is a need for serious reduction in the discount rate in the country if you have to move in a right direction you know the problem as i said to you that we there is a basic premise uh, there is a difference in the premise and i would say wrong premise that the money supply or the inflation has uh, is can or i would say not has can be controlled by by any policy of by the state bank of pakistan primarily for the reason that state bank of pakistan monetary policy has effectively no relation with the economic transaction which take place in pakistan or at least at least 40% of the size of the economy so in an economy where 40% of the economy is out of books and those those people are not borrowing from the bank or the banking system so the whatever the state bank of pakistan does is technically irrelevant for that people so when when somebody say the state bank of pakistan has failed i don't say it does not fail it has no relevance it is just a it is just a homework they are actually not uh, aware of the ground realities of the pakistan economy for example take the case of the one of the very big item of the consumption for example meat i from the starting point of the caring of the animals till the retail sale of the meat to the people there is no banking there is no inclusion of the bank system with the thing there is no borrowing so the inflation increase in price it is there is some effect of the gas gas price something like that but it has nothing to do with the interest because in the whole system no borrowing no lending is involved so uh, the state bank of pakistan is actually irrelevant they it is wrong to say that they have failed they even if they 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 try they cannot do anything this is my perception and and i totally agree that i was the first person who was saying that the pakistan's biggest problem which is going to come in the future year and which is agreed now has already achieved is that pakistan will not be able to service is that and now we are all see, we all see that pakistan is not able to service its local debts when you are saying 92% of the income uh, income tax is being used by the servicing of the debt then things are very clear that is what i said on 31st of uh, 16th of december 2021 that this country is bankrupt and and i read that now this is bankrupt because what you are saying that you cannot service your debt that's all and you are you are going to pay uh, 92 95% and next year it will become 100% so what is what we are doing actually then we are doing just wasting our time and uh, that 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 need to be uh, seriously seen and we have to actually re- firstly understand what is the status of pakistan economy uh, is the economy related to state bank or not related to state bank i think state bank has minimal role in the inflation uh, management uh, of pakistan let me let me let me say one thing if you read the history of economics If you read the history of economics, not economics, but if you read the history of economics, the economic projection I have always failed. They are never, they are never arithmetically correct. Do you have anybody in 1990s have has 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 seen whether the China will overturn the economy in this manner? So economic theories are not arithmetical realities. they depend on the ground realities which are on the on the surface of the earth so unfortunately when these economists become mathematicians 